everybody and welcome. Welcome to uh, Connecting Online Conference. Uh, my name is Nellie Deutsch and I'm really excited because this is our 10th anniversary. Yes, it's been 10 years and a lot has happened since uh, 2009. For example, I used to really care about how many people came to these live online sessions and I would continuously bombard Facebook, Twitter, and all the social networks until I realized 10 years later that it's okay uh, not to have a lot of attendees because this is being recorded. Uh, we're on Zoom, which is different because we started on WizIQ and um, WizIQ sponsored Connecting Online. We even had a book in 2012 that was IQ also helped uh, publish. So uh, let's get started. This year uh, we've got um, lots of presenters from around the globe and uh, I think the image is kind of blurry. I apologize for that. We've got um, Talila who's coming to us from Israel, Bob who actually started uh, C, I think in C009, he's coming to us from the United States. Um, we've got India, India, um, we've got Spain and Dubai, the United States, Turkey, India, Venezuela and Argentina, Egypt, again, the United States, India, the United States, Spain, Egypt and Sweden. And I think Ebba has also been, um, I think she also started 10 years ago. Also Ludmilla Smirnova, who's coming to us from the States, uh, was part of Connecting Online. She was one of the organizers of the original Connecting Online. So uh, it's really exciting to think that uh, 10 years have gone by. A little bit about me. Oops, sorry about that. Every time I move something, the slides uh, also move along with me. So um, that's me with my uh, dyed black hair, and now I stop dyeing it so you can see the difference, but it's still me. Um, I've been involved in um, education forever, and um, mostly through uh, K-12 teaching uh, high school, and now it's junior high, and I'm loving it. Um, I started with technology in 1987, but started using it in school in 1992 um, in my EFL and ESL classes. I've been organizing free online events such as this one, Connecting Online and MMVC uh, for a number of years. I also have online workshops, face-to-face -face workshops where I do blended learning using Moodle, which is my favorite tool. Also with IQ, I used to use slide speech, but something happened to it. But I do use Screencast, Tomatic, and Google Drive to engage learners in active, authentic, discovery-based learning. All my students, uh, both um, young learners from the age of 12 to older students up to the age of 80 plus, uh, create videos using Screencast-O-Matic, which is completely free, and document the process because I believe in teaching as a way to learn, where students are actually teachers and they learn through um, creating videos and documenting the process as they learn. Um, I practice uh, mindfulness every single day, usually in the morning, and the Alexander Technique. I also use the two techniques in my face-to-face -face classes, not in my online classes. Uh, there are, well, let me go back here, two certificates, for connecting online, one for the participants who attend the sessions and reflect, and the other one is for the volunteer presenters who so graciously volunteer their time and share their knowledge and experiences on Moodle for Teachers. 
and I'll add the link to the chat box for those who haven't joined yet. And this is what you will see. Okay, number one, you will see login. It's right here. Uh, and you can log in with Gmail, with Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Microsoft. And there's also number two, which is a video of how to log in. Number three, you should subscribe to the playlist for connecting online because all of the recordings will be available uh, through uh, that. Okay, so uh, make sure that uh, you connect so you can watch the uh, recordings. Number four, now these are the activities for um, under CO19. There are forums, there are resources, and of course the Zoom meetings. This is a Zoom meeting. Number five, people. If you want to know um, who's also there, uh, currently there are over a hundred uh, participants. Uh, you can connect with them, ask questions, and so on. Number six. Number six is the center. Now you can see here that it's divided into tabs. So there's an overview of CO19, which is actually about CO19. There's support where you can ask questions, get acquainted, uh, and overview of the live sessions. Go through each of these to acquaint yourself with the layout. There's also a video, of course, under overview, where you'll get the same video that I started showing you before. Number seven are the announcements. There are already announcements here, and you'll be able to access that. I removed Get Screencast-O-Matic. I love it because we don't really need it for this session. So that's gone. First thing you're going to do is number eight, get acquainted. How many of you have started getting acquainted. I can't see the chat box for some reason. So please let me know in the chat box um, and you can respond to each other. Please feel free to use the chat box as you go. As I said, things keep jumping here. So that's uh, that. Let's go on to uh, the next one. So here is a huge um, image of what's called the menu. All the blue tabs that you saw before are actually sections. In those interested, this is a Moodle website, but it's also the conference uh, area. Notice the dates here. There's Friday, today, and today there are three meetings or webinars. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday, February 23rd, there are a few more. We've got a full day. And then Sunday is also a full day. Well, actually, it's not really full because it's not from morning till night, but it's um, about six hours of sessions. Uh, Friday session today. And uh, notice you click on uh, the Zoom. Sorry about that. Uh, there's the opening ceremony. After the ceremony, um, Talila, who's also here with us, uh, is going to talk, discuss uh, creating experiential learning maps around the city. She's currently um, in another country, and she'll tell us more about that. I think I jumped here. Let's go to the next one. The next one is chatting about the sessions. Uh, there is a chance for you to discuss the sessions, ask questions, and get support and further information from the presenters under open discussion right here. And then next, of course, are the recordings. Let's see, the playlist that I told you about. If you click on the playlist, you'll be able to see all the live online sessions available. And the playlist is also here. So either you click on the video or on the playlist below. Let me just help you out here by, uh, there it is. Next is, um, let's see, I think I jumped here. Next is the feedback. Notice uh, you're going to provide feedback so that you can uh, get a certificate. You're also going to reflect. So you're gonna watch the recordings or the live online sessions, and then you'll add your feedback. And after you add your feedback, you're going to reflect. And the reflections you'll do by submitting 
your responses. This could be through videos uh, on a Padlet page. So uh, number one, notice there's a box here. It's a dotted box, which means that the system, once you uh, create the videos, the system will tick it off. So you don't have to worry about anyone doing this work. It's automatic. And number two, of course, you click on the Padlet and you add your input. Next is um, the certificate. You have to do the following. You have to introduce, oops, sorry. It's introduce yourself. Why oh, it's moving so fast. Introduce yourself, get acquainted, and that's ticked off automatically. You have to respond to at least two people. And then uh, you can get your certificate of completion after the 25th, in other words, after we finish the sessions a day later. And then um, you have to fill in the feedback. Whoops. The feedback and the reflections. And there are two certificates. Uh, there's one certificate for getting, one badge for getting acquainted and one badge for reflecting. And once you do that, you get a certificate of completion. And that's what it looks like. The presenters get another certificate, as I said, a certificate of excellence for volunteering to present. And you can present next year. Um, so keep that in mind. You can learn a little bit about these and then simply um, present to. Uh, let's see, I think that's it. All right, so let's go through um, the presenters, a little bit about uh, the presenters. And this year, I went through the names. Talila is our next presenter. And notice that Talila, I believe, is currently in uh, France, in the south of France. Uh, she's this, what's called the Situated Learning Expert in Museums, and you'll learn more about what she does. She was also a visiting lecturer at the University of Mexico, and she travels around the world, actually, um, promoting her uh, special, I would say, uh, project. And she's also been to Madrid and Tourism High School, and her academic background is in art history and science curriculum. She conducts virtual course tours for teachers in all education levels, and she also teaches at MOFET. Another of our presenters for today is Dr. Robert Diotalevi. As I said, Robert or Bob has been uh, with CO Connecting Online since two. 2009. I think, I believe it's his 10th year as well. Um, he teaches, he's an associate professor of legal studies. He's actually a, a lawyer at Florida Gulf Coast University in Fort Myers, Florida. Uh, he um, is an expert on copyright for educators, and that's what he's going to talk about. You can read more about his um, you can see his bets today. And then if you click on the title of the sessions, you should be able to get the Zoom link and it'll take you to the session. If you wanna check your time zone, you can do it here. And if you need the PowerPoint, you click over here. By the way, you'll be able to get this PowerPoint from here. Uh, next, our next uh, session, as I said, is with Talila. And if you click on this link, let me get it for you. Okay, if you click on this link, there it is, you should be able to go into her session. Okay, let's continue. And you can get, also get information. And this is her PowerPoint presentation. So uh, you might want to review her PowerPoint. It's right there. 
everybody's PowerPoint is going to appear under PPT. So it'll be as you go down. The time zone, for those of you that need to check your time zone, you'll be able to get the time zones. All the times will be there. So let's go through that. Okay, so you can get the time zone. I'm going to scroll down. So all the information is actually here. Let's clear the drawings. Okay, that's Friday, and then there's Bob Diotalevi. You can get his YouTube video, and I suggest you do that. These sessions are about 40 to 45 minutes, so you have plenty of time. Uh, the video, I think, is about uh, 15, 10 to 15 minutes. I suggest you go through it, okay, after Talila's session, and listen to the video. And the live online session, as I said before, is right here. So you click on the title, and it'll take you to the webinar or the live online session, as I call it. Okay, there's more about the, uh, the presenter over here and about the session. Okay, and then keep scrolling. The next session will be tomorrow, which is. Uh, there's a lot about Bob there, his bio. Okay, Saturday, that's tomorrow. Same thing, notice what's here, try to follow it. Okay, you've got your time zone over here, so you just click on it, and it'll give you the exact time in your time zone. Our presenter, the link that'll take you to the live online session, the information. Notice the PowerPoint is not here yet but I'm waiting for that. As soon as it's available, I'll be adding it for you. So let's continue. That's Saturday, first session. Check your time zone to see when that session is. And then the next one, okay, check your time zone and so on. Okay, that's how you'll be able to follow. And then notice there's a PowerPoint here for Saturday with Dr. Carmen, Roslyn, and Lana. Little about the presenters you can find in this link right here. Okay, so let's go to about the presenters. Okay, there it is. And notice all these links at the top here. Let me show it to you. Okay, these links will take you back to the webinars about the presenters, about CO19, the conference area, the YouTube playlist, everything is there, but it's not only here, it's also, let me take you, over here, okay? Same thing here. So the information is in many places, multiple places, and notice, um, once again, the information will also appear right here. The full program is about CO19, the webinars about the presenters, the conference area. And please join the conference area. I'll show you once again. So from this page, you can go anywhere. Okay, so let's, let me take you there. Okay, so let me take you to the full program. Okay, it'll open up in a second. This is the full program. Notice about CO19. And then the online sessions, there's a link here. So about the certificates and so on. Let's uh, take a look at about the presenters. Okay, so uh, here it is. Again, the same links at the top. So feel free to click anywhere. You can't damage anything, okay? It's just a screen. I know some people are intimidated by clicking, but feel free to click. And uh, talked about me, we talked about this. Oh, sorry, this, that's the wrong one. I didn't wanna take you here again. So let's go back. Okay, and uh, take you out of here and into uh, about the presenters. Okay, this is where I want to take you. Okay, so about the presenters, we've got a little bit of time. Okay, so it's loading. 
Okay, so about the presenters. I told you where they're from, so I'm not going to repeat that. Okay, so we talked about today's presenters. So tomorrow we've got um, Anifa Devi, who's coming to us from India, and you can learn more about her. Um, she's an EFL teacher. And then there's uh, Poonam, who's also from India. I had the pleasure of meeting Poonam in 2015 in New Delhi. And um, she has a postgraduate degree in economics and education and in education. She's a passionate learner and uh, she'll be discussing her experiences. Dr. Carmen Medina um, is currently in Dubai, but she's originally from Spain. She's a linguist and uh, she'll be talking with two others about their experiences with evil, uh, Dr. Lana Hayasat, who's also at the same college in Dubai, and Rosalind, Dr. Rosalind Billies, who's coming to us from the United States, and they work together in an EVO session, and they'll be discussing their experiences. And then Maha Hassan, who's coming to us from Egypt, Maha is um, a uh, well-known speaker around the globe, she presents and she's got an amazing community of educators in Egypt, in Cairo, I believe. And she'll be talking about her experiences. Sibyl, Sibyl, sorry, uh, is coming to us from Turkey. Did I mention Turkey? I think I forgot to mention Turkey. Um, and she's also um, an EFL, English for Academic Purpose uh, teacher. She teaches at the university. Of um, in Istanbul. Harshita Kapoor is actually a technologist and she'll be discussing her experiences, I believe, um, as a teacher uh, of codes, coding. She has um, a Code Wiz Academy. Uh, Ludmila Smirnova is a professor of education at Mount St. Mary College. Aludmila and I have been working together for uh, 12 years, both face-to-face -face and online. And I believe Ludmila, just like Bob, um, have uh, actually been uh, from the beginning on COO9. Ludmila was actually one of the organizers of Connecting Online, and it's going to be a pleasure uh, to have her back. Dr. Revathy uh, is also from India. She's a professor and head in the Department of English at a university in India. Uh, Dr. Rachel Sale, uh, I also met uh, Rachel a few times at conferences. Uh, she's an expert uh, as faculty training, trainer, train the faculty on how to use educational technology and she's also presented a few times at uh, CO Connecting Online. Gonzalo Reyna has an amazing initiative that he's going to be talking about. Uh, he also presented at MMVC18, and um, he has a master's degree in physics science. So he's a math expert, but he's got a very interesting project that I'm not going to tell you about yet. You'll hear it from him. Uh, Dr. Uh, Doris Malero and I have been friends since 2005, so it's, um, well, it's 14 years. We've never met, but we've been collaborating uh, specifically on um, a MOOC in um, virtual worlds. We've been doing it for, I guess, over seven years. And she's based in Venezuela and Argentina. And Hannah Camus and I have also uh, known each other for a number of years. She's coming to us from Egypt. She's had 20 plus years of experience as a teacher trainer in ELT. And it's really a pleasure to have her. Eba, I think Eba, Eba was also uh, since here since the beginning of Connecting Online and CO09. She's also presented at Moodle MOOCs. And um, I've known Eva for a number of years through Wiki Educator and um, Open Education. Eva is coming to us from um, Sweden. She's a consultant. She's also a professor, expert, researcher in uh, quality 
online and face-to-face -face, um, instruction and learning. And she's been involved in various projects, including uh, UNESCO. So it's really a pleasure to have um, so many amazing presenters who've uh, volunteered their time. Sorry, the fact that it's not that clear. So uh, I'm really grateful to all of them because um, these sessions would not be uh, the same if it weren't for their volunteer spirit and um, care in wanting to share these, uh, their knowledge with educators and others from around the globe.